Thank you, Dr. Madison. We now turn to the awards portion of the program. We will first recognize tonight's three Heroes of Military Medicine Awards recipients. The offices of the Surgeon General of the Army, Navy, and Air Force each submitted multiple nominees for these honors. The Heroes of Military Medicine Advisory Committee then considered all of the outstanding nominations and voted to select one individual from each service to be recognized as that service's Hero of Military Medicine. Each honoree will be introduced tonight by a representative of his or her service's Office of the Surgeon General. Participating in the award presentations this evening will be Mr. John Lowe and Ms. Cynthia Gilman. It is my privilege to introduce you to Brigadier General Promotable Robert D. Tennant, Deputy Surgeon General and Deputy Commanding General Support, U.S. Army Medical Command, representing the Surgeon General of the United States Army, who will say a few words in support of tonight's Army Hero of Military Medicine honoree. Thank you, Ms. Griffin, for your introduction. First, I'd like to thank the Center of Public-Private Partnerships and the Henry Jackson Foundation for hosting this event. I'll refer to the words of former President Ronald Reagan, who said, for those who say that we are in a time where there are no heroes, they just don't know where to look. I want to thank the Jackson Foundation for helping us with the where to look. It's right here in this very room tonight. It's truly an honor for me to introduce an individual who undoubtedly epitomizes Reagan's words. The recipient of the United States Army Hero of Military Medicine Honorary, Colonel Martha Linhart. I hesitate to recite the long list of Colonel Linhart's accomplishments were, which are printed before you. Not to mention any one of them in their magnitude, but doing so would fail to put in context the importance and the often overlooked cumulative lasting effects of those actions. Actions that in many ways exemplify the spirit of medicine, army medicine, and the nation. Colonel Linhart has a unique combination of skills that is a testament of what is possible in America today. Traits that don't just happen in their, on their own or appear out of nowhere. They are taught. So we'd be remiss if we failed to thank her parents who, as we all know, helped instill those traits and values early in life, as well as her family, her husband, Jim Cox, who's here tonight, Dr. Jim Cox, and her two sons, James and Joseph, who have, without a doubt, been an inspiration for success and determination. Great physician William Olzer once said, he who studies medicine without books sells an uncharted sea. But he who studies medicine without patience does not go to sea at all. Colonel Lynn Hart, the Army orthopedic surgeon and instructor and author, has done both, treating patients severely injured on the battlefield and then taking the time to write about it. Drawing on her deployment experience, she championed rapid production of the landmark award-winning book, War Surgery in Afghanistan and Iraq, and enabled its distribution to be to uh, deployed providers. It's that kind of dedication upon which military medicine has been built. The lessons learned not only for this and future conflicts, driving battlefield fatality rates to the lowest level in the history of modern warfare, but lessons that were then transferred to our civilian counterparts across America and the world. Techniques used to save lives and limbs on our highways, ERs, ORs, and also sometimes after marathons, after homemade bombs. Colonel Lynn Hart is the embodiment of the spirit that has fueled the continuous improvement in what we do in military medicine. Let me finish with one additional role that is not listed in your program and not appreciated by much of the general public, one that Colonel Linhart has personified, the role of diplomat for our great country. Let me explain. All our soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines have the opportunity to represent our country as diplomats. During her Afghanistan deployment, Colonel Linhart recognized the need for a focused approach to the management of the injured infants and children in combat scenarios. Not American infants or children, but someone's infant and child with no regard to the political ideology of their parents. Seeing the need, she spearheaded the publication of the first ever pediatric military medicine book, Pediatric Surgery and Medicine for Hostile Environments, 
cited by the American Writers Association as the book, I quote, the book most likely is to save a life. Now some would question why we in Army Medicine would ever have a pediatric orthopedic hand surgeon specialist in our ranks. What value would that possibly bring to the fight? Colonel Linshart's actions answers that question loud and clear. But by looking at the battlefields and its casualties through the lens of the pediatric hand surgeon, she viewed the chaos in ways others did not. She saw not only a medical need, but a humanitarian need as well. And she did something about it. And the people in Afghanistan and Iraq noticed. Authoring a book on her experiences and observations in order to inform other doctors around the world on ways to provide better care for our injured infant and child, improving the chance of going on to grow, learn, and prosper. There are people in Afghanistan and Iraq who notice, and the long-range diplomatic effects can be enormous. Because of the kind of diplomacy that happens around an operating table, simply cannot happen around a boardroom or a negotiating table. It's like eating soup with a fork. No amount of political propaganda can displace the emotional connectedness that occurs when a, one human connects with another human in a supportive, compassionate, and caring way. Some call it soft diplomacy, but it's anything but soft. It's powerful. It's potential to prevent future conflicts, open doors that others cannot, and shape the future in a positive way is immeasurable, and it matters. So again, it's a great honor to present to you the United States Army Hero of Military Medicine, award recipient, Colonel Martha Linhart, a testament to the Army, the military, her family, and her nation. Cool. Distinguished guests, sponsors, mentors, and colleagues, I accept this award on behalf of thousands of heroes who have served and continue to serve our country, ensuring its safety and contributing to the well-being of our troops. Throughout my military career, I have been guided by outstanding leaders and colleagues, mentors, who have taught me how to care for my patients. I have been fortunate to work with extraordinary staff at all of my assignments, and these staff were motivated and talented. I've had the privilege to learn from the world's experts, to preserve and to share the expertise of clinicians and scientists, and to train first responders in casualty management of unconventional warfare. And most significantly, I've had the honor to care for our warriors. I thank you for the opportunity to serve and thank you for your support of this very worthy cause. Thank you.